Today we are going to be taking T notes on solutions. Please be sure to have your setup the way that it is formatted here in the form of a T with all of the questions on the left and all of the answers on the right hand side. Remember you do not have to draw any diagrams or drawings or pictures unless you absolutely want to and let's go ahead and begin. A solution is a mixture created when a substance is dissolved into a liquid. This substance that is dissolved is called a solute and the liquid that does the dissolving is called the solvent. So here we have solute. Remember a solute is the substance that is dissolved into a liquid and that dissolving liquid is known as a solvent and then this creates a solution. A solvent, as we stated before, is the liquid that the substance is being dissolved into. And again, remember that substance that is dissolving is known as the solute. The most common solvent that we use is water. However, there are more liquids in which solutes can dissolve into. Here we see some solvent on top of a weight scale and it registers as 100 grams. When we add the solute, which here is a solid and the solid is weighing 10 grams, when we add these up and we, and we mix these, we make this solution, it does show that the total weight would be 110 grams. And this is just to show that even though you do not see the solute, the mass of that solute is within the mass of the final solution that we made. Here is something for you to try. Identify the solution, the solvent, and the solute for sugar water. What do you think sugar is? And what do you think water is? Pause this video and start it back up when you want to check your answers. Sugar is known as the solute. The water is the solvent and sugar water is known as the solution. Here is another example, hot chocolate. Which one is the solution, which one is the solvent, and which one is the solute? Pause this video and start it back up when you want to check your answers. Okay, so the solution is the result of the solute and the solvent being mixed together and that is the hot chocolate. The solute, the solid, is the cocoa powder or the cocoa mix and that leaves our milk which is the solvent and remember that the solute is going to be added into the solvent mixed up in order to create the solution. When we say that something is a soluble substance we're saying that that substance can be dissolved in a solvent. For example, we know that sugar and salt are able to dissolve when placed into a liquid. An insoluble substance is a substance that cannot be dissolved in a solvent. For example, if you were to place sand in any liquid, um, such as water or milk or even soda, the sand would continue to be sand and stay in its solid state. Plastic and metal are other examples that when placed into a liquid they do not dissolve. What can increase the speed of dissolving? If we stir the mixture we are able to dissolve the solute much more quickly. If we add heat we will also be able to increase the speed of dissolving. And this is just because you are creating an environment where the particles are going to be moving faster and therefore be able to interact with each other more quickly. When we're talking about solutions, we remember that a solution is created by putting a solute into a solvent. And every solute has a certain level of which it can dissolve into a solvent. And we call that solubility. Now a solute can have low solubility, which just pretty much means that there is a small amount of that solute which can dissolve into a solvent. 
If there is a large amount of solute that can dissolve into a solvent, we then say that this has a high solubility. So again, high solubility is just if a large amount of solute can dissolve into a solvent. Solutions can either be unsaturated or saturated. If we say that a solution is unsaturated, we are saying that that solution can continue to dissolve more solute. You can keep putting more solute in and it will dissolve. If a solution has reached a point where there is no more solute that can be added, then we say that that solution is saturated. It has reached the maximum amount of solute that can be added into that solution. Here is a little drawing which I would suggest might be useful for you to draw. And all this is stating is that an unsaturated solution, you can see that if you were to add more particles of solute here, it would dissolve and create a solution that you would not be able to see the solute. If we had a saturated solution where we continue to add more solute into this solvent, then what will happen is it will not dissolve and it will just still be a solid down at the bottom of the solution. Okay, thank you for watching. Be sure that you understand the content in these notes. Be ready to use this in class and have a great day.